Hello, today we are going to try to build Qt6 and KD frameworks that uses Qt6 using KDSRC minus build. So the news is from January 18th, 2023, when the master branch of the KD frameworks repositories now use Qt6 instead of uh, Qt5. Okay, so when you install KDSRC minus build and set it up using the procedure, you should make sure that you have inside of the global section of the tilde slash dot config slash KDSRC minus build RC configuration file a line that says branch minus group k5 minus qt5. Okay. So let's um, do the procedure, but for uh, not for Qt5 KF5, but for Qt6 KF6. So kd.org, get involved, development, and let's do the kdsrc minus build procedure. So I have a distribution, I have uh, Kubuntu 22.10. Okay, I ran uh, this. Okay, and the first part that we want to run is this one. Control C, let's start the console. And uh, let's start a kit. So it says if you have an old installation of KDSRC minus build and you want a clean one, move it out of the way. So I really want to do that because I already have uh, a version of KDSRC minus build and an installation that uses Qt 6 KF6. Okay. So I'm moving the configuration file to a name that ends with a tilde BAK from backup. And I'm moving my tilde slash kd directory to tilde slash kd slash um, tilde slash kd tilde bak from backup. Okay, let's do that. So I'm inside the directory where I git clone kdsrc minus build. What are the next steps? Okay, kdsrc minus build and uh, the procedure to set it up will set it up for Qt5 KF5, but I'm using Qt6 KF6. So kdsrc minus build initial setup will not know what packages to install from Kubuntu 22.10 for my use case. And that's okay. Control Shift V. Okay, so all of the packages are up to date because these are packages for KF5, Qt5. Update my bash RC no. I have updated a lot of times. So the only thing that it does, it prepends to the path environment variable, the directory where we git clone kdsrc minus build, and then provides a auto completion bash function for kdsrc minus run. All of this exists already on in my uh, bashrc. Okay, but then it says edit the file config uh, tilde slash dot config kdsrc minus buildrc and make sure that we have this line there. Okay. So after the line global, there should be this line. Okay. And for our use case, this is uh, with six. Okay. And then we need to source Bosch RC. Let's do that. And make sure that we have at the front of the environment variable path, 
my home directory slash kd slash src slash kd src minus build and it's in here on the third position because of active state commodo id okay what's next so i should make sure that the global section of the config file has branch group k5 qt5 id that i'm going to build qt6 let's see if we need to disable indexing no uh, download non-kd dependencies okay let's see what this thing does step four i need to run this thing i already did but doesn't matter to run we can run it again what this does it looks inside of slash etsy slash up slash sources dot list and uh, oh i i did mess things up okay let's fix this up Not sure where this thing came from. So it says um, kinetic universe restricted main multiverse and should not contain universe because universe is in here. Okay, and then the same for kinetic updates. No universe because we have a universe in here then there's backports no so the deb minus src line should be identical to the deb line that's above it so in here there should be no multiverse should be just restricted and main restricted and main okay kinetic universe kinetic updates universe correct kinetic multiverse kinetic multiverse kinetic updates multiverse kinetic updates multiverse Kinetic backports, main restricted universe, multiverse. Kinetic security, main universe, so no. No multiverse. Kinetic security, universe, kinetic security, multiverse, correct. And that's it, control X, S to save, X, C to exit. Not update. I don't know what it did right now. Why did it hit just six times? And none of the times for um, source. So DBSRC, these two lines are identical. Uh, these two lines are identical. Identical, 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 identical. Yeah. 
Ctrl D, next. So if I go up to build dip and then dolphin, it will look at my distribution as Kubuntu 22.10. It will see there's a binary package or resource package that's called dolphin. And that was built using Qt5. So it will take the dependencies of dolphin. So KF 20 KF5 packages and install them and the rest dependencies. So I cannot really run sudo apt build dep for the uh, case Qt6 KF6. So this is just for the normal case, the simple case, which is Qt5 KF5, not for the advanced one, which is Qt6 KF6. Okay. I cannot run apt build dep. It will not do the correct thing. Okay, I cannot do up to build up. It will not do the correct thing. Next. I need to run kdsrc minus build frameworks. First, I need to build Qt5. Okay. So that's an advanced uh, use case where I build Qt6 and KD frameworks 6. So I follow this exact same procedure, the default kdsrc minus build setup procedure which sets up Qt5 and KD Frameworks 5. I've um, edited the kdsrc buildrc file. Now I have this branch KF6 Qt6 at the start. Okay, the rest are defaults. But since I'm going to build um, Qt, not Qt5, but Qt6, I need, I need to tell it where to make install Qt6. So this should be the same directory where it makes installs the rest of the KD Git repositories, which is still the slash KD slash USR. Okay. So this directory should be identical to this directory KD dir, the install directory for KD software. Okay. This in my case is always debug because I like to run in the debugger. Qtdir. Okay. Next, I give it um, my number of cores, which is 16. And this is the number of cores for uh, building Chromium and uh, V8, so Q2 Web Engine. Let's go with 12 here. So the rule of thumb is. Um, a number of cores times two should be way less than the available RAM. So 24 is less than 32, which is um, 32 gigabytes, the amount of RAM on this hardware machine. Okay. The rest we keep defaults and in here we intervene. So we tell it don't build anything from the KD Git repositories. Instead, build these two things. Okay. And first of all, I'm going to run these sets. Okay. So look back, KF5 Q, uh, KF6 Q6, correct? And um, KDSRC minus build KF6 common options build include. Okay, Q6 and custom Q6, control S. Okay, let's look at this file, what does it do? Control C, Control O, Control V, Enter. So it's just uh, additional options when uh, building using KDSRC minus build, uh, blue Z minus Qt. Okay, this is the most important file, which uh, in our case builds uh, Qt 6. Control C, Control O, Control V. 
So it says module set Qt6 says, so this is the name of the module set. It says that the correct branch to use is 6.4, which is actually the newest one, which is okay. And then we're using a special repository, which is defined in here, and it's named Qt6 minus copy. Okay, this prefix is wrong. I'm not use, I'm not going to install Qt6 in tilde slash Qt6, but in uh, the directory Qt dir. Okay, let's go back to the to this file. So we have at the end of the global section. I need to tell it this thing, what's repository Qt6 minus copy. So at the end of the global, which is in here, control V, control S. Okay. And then, um, so I uh, will split the setting up into two parts, one where I build just Qt6 and another one where I build just KD Framers 6. So for now I have commented out all of the lines in KDSRC minus buildrc which make it possible to build KD Git repositories. And now I'm just being able to build Qt6 after I'm done with Qt6, I'm going to comment the lines that make it possible to build Qt6, which is this line. And instead uncomment the line that make it makes it possible to build kdgit repository, which is repositories, which is this one. Okay. So this is for KDE git repositories, which I'm not doing right now. And this is for Qt6. So just by I'm commenting seven, line 77 and commenting line 81. Now I'm starting to build Qt6. And then I switch the comment. So this is going to be commented. This has been, uh, is going to be uncommented. Control S. Okay. So this is... Uh, something that we need to do manually until my merge requests are merged. So prefix uh, dollar sign um, curly brackets cute dir. Okay. And then why would I build Qt6 if I do not build Qt Web Engine? I do want to build Qt Web Engine. Because otherwise the Qt6 that I'm going to build is not going to be able to build 100 KD Git repositories. So I do want Qt Web Engine. Okay. And it says if you want Qt Web Engine, which I do, and uh, add it to the use modules, which is this one, after Qt Web Channel. So this thing, Qt Web Channel, Control S, and comment this out. So I'm not ignoring Qt Web Engine, but I'm using Qt Web Engine. Okay. Um, Qt, I'm okay if I build Qt uh, using rel with deb info instead of debug. It's okay for now. It, the, the, the build will be faster and the build uh, executables and binaries will be smaller, faster, etc. Okay. But a huge important thing is Qt5 is not built by default using CMake, by KDSRC minus buildrc, whereas Qt6 is built by default using CMake by KDSRC minus buildrc. And this makes a ton of difference. It's way easier for me to build Qt6 than Qt5. And the way we include and exclude modules way, works way better in the CMake world versus the Qt5 world. Okay, in here it's easy. You just do not add Qt3D and it's not going to build Qt3D. Where in the previous world, it will try to build Qt3D by default and you'll need to 
tell it, hey, don't build Q3D, don't build 10 other modules which we don't use on Linux. Okay, the fact that it uses Ninja instead of uh, GNU make is okay. For now, I don't know how to improve this thing. So we'll, we're keeping the defaults, which means CMake and Ninja for building Qt6. Okay, and in here the lower number of cores is used, so 12 instead of 16. Okay, this should be it. Let's try our lock building. So the first thing that we want to build is um, this thing, which is the module set Qt6 set. So KDSRC minus build. Qt6 set. Okay, it uh, downloads it um, git clone sysadmin repo metadata. Then uh, it determines that Qt6 minus set has 16 modules. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So the count, this count 16, is taken from uh, this line. It says ninja because it's ninja in here. C make generator ninja. Okay, so if my Linux distribution doesn't have a new enough Qt6 or a complete enough Qt6, so it's missing, I don't know, Qt6 declarative private binary package, not a problem. Just building all of the Qt6 that I need and that's used by Linux in Linux on Linux, such that I do not depend on Qt6 that's available on my Linux distribution, which is Kubuntu 22.10. The Qt6 the caveat is that I need to build Qt Web Engine, which takes, I don't know, half an hour. And then I need to make sure I don't accidentally build Qt again. So that's why I'm commenting the Qt6 minus build minus include file from kdsrc minus build rc as soon as I finish building Qt6 correctly. So I build Qt6, then I test to make sure that some um, kdgit repositories get built correctly using the new Qt6. And then the what I do is I make sure I don't accidentally build Q6 again by commenting out line 77 in kdsrc minus builder Okay, so when I tried to install Q to build Q6 using kdsrc minus build, I need to install, I know for Linux uh, binary packages, so for devs from Kubuntu. And how I found them, how I found what uh, Ubuntu packages I want to install is uh, using one of these three options. So for instance, if the CMA configure error is could not find Qt6 linguist tools, and then it says the name of the directory. You could uh, search on the internet, so on Google, Ubuntu packages, and then part of the file name, such as Qt6 uh, Linguist Tools. And it um, takes you to one possible place where you could find this uh, file. And then you're expanding the list of files to see if indeed what you're searching for, so Qt6 Linguist Tools, is in here. And we want the CMake uh, file for it. So it's uh, Qt6 Linguist Tools in the USR lib CMake directory, which is what we want. So we want this thing. So the correct name of the Ubuntu package is Qt6 minus tools minus dev. The other option is to install 
apt file so i go sudo apt install apt file sudo apt file update and then the search command line is apt minus file space find space what i want to find so i can put in here the name of a file that exists on my linux machine and that cma configure cannot find or parts of the path of or, or of the file name so i can show you how this thing works So I already run apt install file. Let's do this thing to update the database. Okay. And I can search for parts of the file name so it says it couldn't find this thing okay and it shows me all of the paths all of the file paths then ca that can be installed on my machine using the repository settings that i have in here so whatever i have configured in slash etsy slash upsell slash sources slash li uh, dot list so all of the files that could be installed on my computer using apt uh, install. And it says that all of these files might be uh, are available and can be installed. And all of them come from a single dev package, which is called Qt6 minus tools minus dev. Okay, so that's why I go sudo apt install qt6 tools dev because that's what apt file find qt6 linguist tools says in its output okay if it says something references and uh, the file and it gives you a full path then you can search for this entire full path so you can go apt file find and this entire file path that it cannot find so CMake knows that this file should exist on my hard disk, but does not. And then I ask apt file, which dev package contains this full path? And it says Qt6 Wayland dev tools. So I install then apt install Qt6 minus Wayland minus dev minus tools. Okay. Or if you know your way around apt search, you can go apt search linguist and then it gives you a long list there and then you know you need to know what to grab for. So let's see what this does. Okay, so it gives a huge list of things that are totally not related to linguist. Okay, it gives us text live, etc. So we know that uh, it's something uh, with about Qt, so let's go there. And now the list is way s shorter, just for dev packages. And we know that, uh, so in here it says Qt6 linguist tools, so it's for Qt6. So there's only two possibilities, which is, which is one of these two. The other two are for Qt5, so it says Qt tools 5 and Qt translations 5. So not the Qt5 versions, but the Qt6 version. And then which of these two packages? Uh, so this is a translation, localization, and this is linguist Qt. So I'm guessing this thing I need to install. But then, no, you don't need to install that. You know, in fact, you need to install Qt6 tools there. So that's why this option is the third one, because it's uh, more complicated to get at the correct answer, more steps involved, you need to use grep, and even after you give it your best shot, you still sometimes cannot find the correct um, name of the correct dev package. But sometimes this uh, option 3 works, in this case it do just does not. Okay. 
let's see where we are with, build, with building. So we've built Qt base, which is one uh, large Git repository. And uh, the next large one is uh, Qt declarative. And then the next large one is uh, Qt web engine. So I'll pause it a bit and I'll be back after either an error occurs or uh, more of um, Qt 6 builds. Okay, so it uh, finished building all of the Qt 6. Now, as I said, the next thing to do is to make it such that the Qt is not built again. And uh, we can do a minimal test with uh, this module. Okay, so it's called Blue ZQt, but it doesn't have a definition, it only has options. So these are a second layer of uh, definition for Blue ZQt, but there should be another definition for, for Blue ZQt in other place. Okay, so let's try to enable KF5 Qt, uh, KF6 Qt6. and build uh, BlueZQt. Okay. It doesn't like the fact that there's a lib account glib defined twice in custom Qt6 libs build include. Okay, so this thing defines lib accounts glib and this file is included twice once in kdsrc minus buildrc and the second time in here this thing so common options build include I'll um, comment it out from here. I have a merge request for um, having this line commented out. It was not merged yet. Okay, let's try now. Um, still does not work because why? wrong line so it was this one include custom as it says custom qt6 libs build include Ctrl s let's try again okay so it says that um, according to sysadmin repo metadata blue zqt requires ecma m so extra cmake modules it uh, git cloned and installed extra CMake modules, then it tried to build. Let's see why it fails. So it says uh, unable to configure with uh, CMake. So the problem is in step CMake configure. Let's look at the file. So I control clicked on the URL of the file. So it says, uh, uh, could not find a Qt5. Okay, why can't it find a Qt5? Well, let's look at my merge request. Okay, 
because it doesn't try to use uh, Qt6, it tries to use uh, Qt5. So the way many KD Git repositories switch from uh, Qt5 to Qt6 uh, is via a CMake option which is called Qt underscore major version and this one is going to be heavily used inside of the CMake lists.txt file inside of that KD Git repository. Okay, so let's apply this uh, patch. So it says in, you need to edit the file kf6 common options build include. kf6 common options build include. Inside on the top level of the KD Git repository kdsrc minus build. And if you look at the full path of the file is in tilde slash kd slash src slash kdsrc minus build. And then straight there in the top level directory, there's the file with the correct name kf six minus common minus options minus build minus include. Okay, so it uh, finished the phase CMake configure. Now it's compiling. So the phase make minus J16. We can see more advanced details by using the debug command line parameter of KDSRC minus build. So we can see it runs uh, gmake minus j16. And then it will run make install after it, after it finishes. So it's important that it uses all of my CPUs, otherwise we would wait forever. Okay, so while this thing is building, let's uh, think of what our next steps are going to be. So I've commented out Qt6, this will not be built accidentally. I've uh, enabled building all of the KD Git repositories that can build using Qt6, so which means all of the KD frameworks. So even the procedure for configuring KDSRC minus build says that the final step, so step six out of six, is to build KD frameworks. So the procedure for setting up KDSRC minus build, step six out of six, you need to run KDSRC minus build frameworks. And this is what I'm going to do. This is going to test thoroughly the newly compiled from scratch using KDSRC minus build Qt6 framework. And then I'm going to uh, build some of the applications that uh, have been ported to Qt6 KF6. How do we know which applications have been ported in that and which applications have not been ported? There's a website for that. which is iskdusingqt6.org. And in here we find out that uh, there are many KD Git repositories in invent.kd.org. So in here, this is the GitLab instance of the KD uh, organization, invent.kd.org. In here, there's more than 580 Git repositories. But out of the 580 that were tested, 361, so just more than half, can already build correctly with uh, using Qt6. So just 220 Git, repo okay, the Git repositories still cannot build using Qt6. But this is the list of. Uh, Zero. The list of uh, KD Git repositories that still do not build using Qt6. So this is the list of 220 Git repositories that cannot build using Qt6. 
and um, kcalc is not among them. So you search for kcalc, it's not here, so it means it kcalc git repository can build using Q6. Okay, so let's build all of the frameworks. Okay, so this should be it. We do not need any configuration files anymore. Okay, so what this does is um, the git clones a78 kd git repositories. So it started with this is admin repo metadata, continued with ECM extra CM modules, then kcore addons, they can k internationalization ki18n, and uh, it uh, uses the correct branch that's used by that KDG repository in order to build using Qt6, which for uh, many KDG repositories, that branch is actually the branch master, as we saw in the announcement. In here, KDE frameworks, uh, the master branch is now Qt6, but for other Git repositories, there's a special branch that's used for building with um, Qt6. And uh, the magic is because we have specified inside of the kdsrc-build configuration file that we want the branch group kf6 Qt6. And then kdsrc-build will know exactly which uh, git branch to use for which git repository. Okay, we'll pause a second until the KD frameworks finish building. Okay, so I had failed um, to build the KD frameworks for um, Qt6. Module 56 out of 78, blue. Let's look at the problem. So it's uh, not in uh, CMake, but in uh, configure, but in uh, the compilation step. Okay, many warnings. Let's go at the end and search for error. So it says LD, which is the linker, has found the same symbol exported from multiple places. I cannot really read this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell KDSRC minus build to ignore modules that cannot build. So if uh, Baloo does not build, it should continue with the next KDGit repository that it should build. So let's do that. Stop on failure true. Let's make this false. Okay, and then we're going to start uh, KDSRC minus build frameworks again. Okay, so I'll be back uh, when uh, KD Frameworks finishes building 
even if some of the KDGit repositories fail to build. Okay, so blue still did not build and then purpose did not build. Let's look at the errors. Blue in the same place, duplicated symbol, LD error, purpose, says could not find prison, could not find Ubuntu online accounts, QML module. Okay, let's try to build prison. Okay. Fabricator plugin needs to depends on having ARC. Next cloud upload. Okay, we'll uh, we'll ignore this purpose thing. That's it. And now we're going to build at least kcalc and see how it looks like okay so the first 24 git repositories to be built were part of frameworks so have already been built and the last uh, KDGit repository, the 25th out of 25, is uh, the actual KCalc Git repository. It finished building. Let's uh, run it now. And here it is. Let's compare this one with the KCalc from uh, that's available on my system right now. So about kcalc, this thing, and components. Okay, so the newer one uses Qt 6.4.3. The one from Kubuntu packages uses Qt 5.15.6 and the version of KD frameworks is this is KD frameworks version 5 so it's 5.98 kept increasing from 5.1 whereas this is KD framework 6 which starts from 5.240 and it will go up to 5.255 so these are pre alpha pre beta KD frameworks releases before the first release of KD frameworks 6 which is probably going to be version 6.0.0 okay and um, the theming looks really similar We can determine that the correct um, kcalc starts by using lsof okay so it says um, that we've started from the kdsrc minus build directory the executable is still the slash kd slash usr slash bin slash kcalc so this is the place where make install installs that runs as part of kdsrc minus build space kcalc the last thing that ran in here when we did kdsrc minus build kcalc so the first things were 
git uh, git cloned and make run make and run make install for all of these dependencies in here it uh, git cloned uh, kcalc then it uh, run cmake configure then make which actually compiles and then the last step is make install which actually copies the file installs the files to where we told him to install which is still slash kd slash usr and uh, that's the same directory where i told kdsrc minus build to put uh, to install to make install uh, the Qt uh, framework version 6. okay so Qt should be from tilde slash kd slash usr all of the kd libraries and files and executables and binaries should be from tilde slash kd slash usr and the other libraries such as uh, the compression libraries the uh, color space conversion image audio codex should be from slash usr okay so these are part of uh, Qt should be from tilde slash kd slash usr these are part of kd framework so part so they are from tilde slash kd slash usr kd frameworks Qt kd frameworks Qt kd frameworks this is an image codec KD frameworks, uh, little CMS, raw images, Q WebP. So this is part of Qt WebP. So image library from slash USR K IMG. These are image format plugins from KD and this one is libq is from Qt okay what else all libkf are from tilde slash kd slash usr although this is KD frameworks version 6 the SO name so the name of the shared object binary file still starts with libkf5 instead of libkf6 this is something that will be done in the future where the name of the libraries from kd framework version 6 is going to change from libkf5 to libkf6 such that uh, KD Frameworks version 5 and KD uh, Frameworks version 6 can be installed side by side on the, in the same directory. Okay. KD Things, this is the Plasma platform team, probably from uh, Plasma minus integration KD git repository x libraries x libraries from the x org x server so from slash usr so everything that's not cute or doesn't use cute or is not part of the KD git repositories is from slash usr everything is cute or depends on cute or is from the KD git repositories is from tilde slash KD slash USR. Why we need to build K, uh, modules which depend on Qt but are not part of KD? Because we're using a special version of Qt, one which we have built locally using KDSRC minus build, so six, uh, Qt 6.4.3. Og Vorbis, X servers, PCRE, Brotly compression, 
GLX OpenGL GLib the GTK library Qt Wayland client part of uh, Qt KF5 codex part of KD and the locales are taken from the correct directory from tilde slash KD slash USR for KD git repositories. Okay, so everything in here is what we expected. Canberra is a GNOME thing, so it's from slash USR. This is an XORG thing, so from slash USR. David and AVIF. Look for this again. Okay, so this uh, proves that we have started the correct kcalc process. The one from tilde slash kd slash usr and it's using the correct um, SO files, the correct uh, themes, the correct uh, cute plugins, etc. Okay, and the next steps are to figure out the name of a KDGit repository that's an application that we want to build and um, develop for, but which is part of the these 30, 361 packages that uh, KDGit repositories that already built correctly using Qt6. Or to find one of the 220 KDGit repositories that do not build with Qt6 and port them to Qt6. So the first thing to do in, in this case is to um, build them with Qt6 and make sure that they build correctly or maybe they have a sort of very small number of build errors. Maybe you have just like two build errors and you can fix them in such a way that both then the KD Git repository will continue to build correctly using Qt5, but now we'll be also able to build using Qt6. Another, th another thing that you can do is not using Qt6, but using Qt5, uh, which is the default uh, setup for KDSRC minus build. If you follow the default procedure for setting up KDSRC minus build, in there you're fixing uh, as many build warnings as possible and especially the build warnings of type deprecated because some of the deprecated symbols will not be available in Qt6 although they are available in Qt5 and will not be available in KD Framework 6 although they are available in KD Framework version 5. Okay, so this is how to build Qt6 and KD Frameworks version 6 using KDSRC minus build, the current version, because everything is in a state of flux right now. So this is the version from 2023, January 21st. Thank you.